Hi guys, a very good morning to all of you. See again, I'm back to teach you SST Standard Three, Chapter Two, the Earth's movements and uh, its surface. I think in last videos I taught you about the surface. That uh, uh, that uh, what's the, why the Earth? Why only the life is on Earth planets? Why is not the another planets? Is it because? because on our earth the earth is surrounded by a very uh, surrounded by a air layer of air that is called atmosphere and it gives us a right temperature as well as on the earth that's why we have uh, not not too much hot and not too much cold on the earth so that's why it shows that here is water uh, air and right temperature makes our life possible on the earth and in last videos i told you that i will teach you about the movements of the earth and i told that we have a two types of movements like rotation and revolution so let's go through the chapter like let's go through the topics so here we go it may seems that the earth is still and always stays in one place however like the other planets the earth is always moving like we think that the earth is always the same size and always stays in one place but we, it can't be because suppose we are standing we think that earth is uh, only is it stand we, it can't move it is stay in one place but it seems like the other planets like the earth is also moving other planets like all the uh, planets jupiter and these all its move it means like that the earth is always moving it is spins round and round like a top like a top understood like we are playing in our childhood rope and that top so we think that it is spins like a round and round like a top around an imaginary line called the axis around the imaginary like we can imagine uh, that line and that lines are called axis so it means that the earth is what it just round in an ima round in an imaginary lines that are called axis so that sorry this movement is known as rotation so this movement is known as rotation it means what if if the earth it spins round and round in an imaginary lines that line are called axis and that movement is called rotation next is it also revolves or goes around the sun at the same time means it also revolves and at the same time it goes to the sun and that moment is called revolution so just keep in mind when the when the earth moves round and round in an imaginary line that lines are called axis so that that is called that moment is called rotation and whenever the earth revolves and it goes around the uh, sun at the same time that movement is called revolution now so the earth has two movements rotation and revolution so the earth has what how many it the earth has two movements rotation and second is revolution so again we will go through the rotation and revolution one by one first is rotation the rotation of the earth on its axis causes day and night means the rotation with the help of rotation of, of the earth on its axis it's ca uh, it causes the day and night the earth rotates from west to east means it rotates from west to east like circle or uh, circular it rotates from west to east in fact it takes a time then it takes 24 hours or one day to complete one rotation means to make to take a one circle it takes 24 hours it means one day one day is equal to 24 hours so can you imagine so like if earth wants so that's why we have a day and night 24 hours day 24 12 hours these all so it means what it takes 24 hours in or one day to complete one rotation to complete one whole circle that is to spin around and its axis once during rotation the part of the earth that faces the sun received light and has day 
so during the rotation suppose the like i don't have anything so i can't show like a suppose the ball like earth if it's rotated if the sun is facing towards the sun suppose sun is there if the sun is facing if the that uh, earth is facing towards the sun so that face that the earth a uh, half face it's like a day and they just uh, have the light and the opposite side it's just a night because it's here it can the sunlight can't come so the upper part the first part is what it's they, they receiving the light so that part has a day but the part which is away from the sun is it darkness and has night so the opposite part just now i said that the first part is if they are looking to the sun earth is this looking to the sun means earth is just sun is just giving the light to the sun then so they uh, sun is giving light to the earth so that time the uh, the earth what it takes the uh, survey so that that time the light so the opposite sides what it becomes the darkness and that has a night as the earth spins it lighted part slowly start moving away from the sun and back start so again the sun again this uh, sun what earth removes so the first one so what uh, which the their the day is receiving if they it spins the dark nights again back into the day and the day it becomes again to the night so if it removes moves then it just shows the those who say shows the facing the sun that side is uh, day and the opposite side is night now while the dark part moves towards the sun they receive the light here is simply is written that if the earth spins the light part slowly or this spins light plant plant slowly then then starts moving from the sun and becomes dark so if uh, it moving from the sun and it's become a dark so this again this parts will become a dark and the opposite side whatever the first part it's became the night again it's become uh, again it's gone to the light while the dark part moves towards the sun and receive the light next is revolution while spinning on its axis the earth is we also revolving or moving around the sun while the earth is spinning on its axis on that time earth is also remo- removing or uh, revolving or moving around the sun all the planets move around the sun in a fixed path called the orbit so all the planets they just move their own path around the sun that path are called the orbit the shape of the orbit orbit is not circular but oval so i'm going to show you the picture the shape of the orbit is not a circle just see this picture it's a like a oval like a egg shape it's not a circle then each planet has a different orbit so each planets they have a different orbits and they can move around in their fixed path the time taken to complete one revolution around the sun differs from planet to planet depending upon its distance from the sun so it uh, the time taken like the time the earth the planets they are taking the times uh, one revolution it depends that how much it it is different from it is just a distance how much its distance from the sun what our earth takes 365 or 1 by 4 days or 1 year to go around the sun once so our earth so our earth what it takes 365 or 1 years to revolution to revolve around the sun rotation it takes only 1 days 24 hours to rotate but in revolution it takes 365 days or 1 year to revolve around the sun just keep in your mind rotation and revolution are the both are difference rotation it takes 24 hours or one day to rotate the sun to rotates around the sun and revolution means what it takes 365 days or one year to revolve around the sun the different seasons are caused the revolution of the earth around the sun we will read about this later and the different seasons they cause this around the revolution what because it takes one hour and one sorry it takes one year so in one years the different seasons will occurs on the earth around the sun so that we will know about this 
in next chapter or in higher class so yeah only that much chapter i think you guys had understood the chapter if you don't please watch these videos 